off the coast of Japan. Rising out of the sea like a mirage lies an engineering miracle of the 20th century. It is the Kansai International Airport, the world's first airport built on reclaimed land inside an ocean. An engineering wonder, Kansai became an instant hit and leaves observers in awe to this day. However, beneath this world-class airport, something is shifting. Kansai is sinking, and it's sinking fast. Will another engineering miracle save it? Let's dive into the story of how Japan built an airport where no land existed, and how 30 years later, the race is on to save it from disappearing altogether. By the late 1960s, Japan's second biggest city had a problem. Osaka's economy was booming and its population was rising. So much so that the city's main airport, Itami, became the center of a dense urban sprawl. The airport was at full capacity, unable to fulfill the transit needs of a thriving city. But expansion was not an option. The public was furious at the ever-increasing noise pollution, and lawsuits were mounting. There was only one option, move the airport away from the densely populated city to an isolated location. After discussing several proposals, the planners decided to take the airport into the sea, to a place that did not exist. The idea was unprecedented, and so was the challenge. The site chosen was three miles offshore and was chosen so that airliners could fly 24 hours a day without any disturbances over unpopulated areas. After almost two decades of planning, construction finally began in 1987. The first task was to build an artificial island big enough to hold and sustain one of the biggest airports in the world. That was done by creating a 100-foot layer of earth on top of the ocean. Three mountains were crushed and poured into the seabed. However, that was still an unstable base that would act like a sponge under the massive weight of the airport. Thousands of heavy sandpipes were added to the structure and were filled with sand to draw out moisture from the soil and underlying layers. More soil was dredged from nearby areas and added to the base to further stabilize the seabed. Once stable, 900 columns resting on hydraulic jacks were driven into the soil. The foundations for the structure lie on these columns, which can be adjusted according to the pace of the sinking soil. After three years, and with the help of 6,000 workers, a 4.5 kilometers long and 2.5 kilometers wide artificial island was finally completed in 1990. It was then fortified with an 11 kilometer seawall, reinforced with 48,000 concrete blocks and hundreds of tons of rubble, ensuring protection from the sea. The island was connected to the mainland by a bridge that alone cost over a billion dollars. Initial estimates put the cost of the Kansai International Airport at $8 billion. However, by the time of its completion in 1994, the budget had risen to $14 billion. However, it instantly became a worthwhile investment. Kansai quickly overtook Itami as the region's primary airport. Over the next two decades, it became Japan's third biggest airport, serving 28 million passengers in 2019. It was recognized in 2024 as the best airport in the world for baggage delivery, after not misplacing a single item for a decade. However, the airport has a terrible secret. Ever since its opening, Kansai has been gradually subsiding into the sea. Sinking itself is not a surprise, as engineers had initially projected that the island would sink by about 25 feet over 50 years. However, the speed of sinking surprised everyone, and the 25 feet threshold was reached just five years after opening. So far, Kansai has sunk 40 feet, way above all the estimates. The problem lies in the layers of clay beneath the artificial island. While the upper layer was consolidated, the deeper one proved unstable. It is riddled with pockets of sand struggling to hold under the weight of the airport. 
On top of that, a major concern has been the uneven sinking of the structure. This became evident when engineers found that the central section was sinking faster than the outer edges of the terminal. So what's been done to protect the Kansai International Airport? A lot. Efforts to save the airport began as soon as the artificial island took shape. Seeing that the soil was sinking faster than predicted, workers excavated below the passenger terminal and inserted iron plates beneath the hydraulic jacks. These iron plates created a stable base to support the jacks as they push against the foundations. This flexible system also allows workers to add additional iron plates under the jacks so that the foundations can be raised gradually as needed. Each column can also be raised individually to deal with the uneven sinking of the island. To further offset the uneven sinking, the airport runways were paved with asphalt rather than concrete, helping to absorb changes without cracking. Meanwhile, each of the 900 columns has a sensor to monitor tilt and elevation in real time. Based on the readings, Kansai's jacks will be readjusted every two years. With these changes, the construction costs for Kansai have risen beyond the $20 billion mark. Adjusted for inflation, the figure is closer to the $40 billion mark, making Kansai the most expensive airport ever built. So what does the future hold for this behemoth? Even with these corrective measures, the airport is expected to continue to sink. However, the rate of sinking is going to be far slower in the coming years. At the time of its opening, Kansai was sinking more than 19 inches per year. That rate has slowed to almost two inches by 2025. But while natural sinking may no longer be an imminent threat, the airport still has to deal with its fair share of natural disasters. In 2018, Typhoon Jebi hit Osaka Bay and damaged the seawall. This was followed by flooding on the airport runways and a two-week disruption. The seawall had been raised by an additional nine feet to guard against future flooding. Addition of new tetrapods designed to absorb wave energy have also enhanced the seawall's protective capabilities. The terminal building, meanwhile, has remained resilient in the face of Japan's frequent natural disasters. Through the fears and the protective measures, authorities remain confident of Kansai's longevity. In fact, expansions to Terminal 1 were completed earlier this year, increasing the airport's handling capacity to 40 million passengers a year. This makes it Japan's second largest airport and builds on an already amazing legacy. Kansai is widely recognized as a revolutionary engineering project, as the experience gained from building Kansai on an artificial island will serve as a blueprint for future offshore airports. Its influence is already visible, with more offshore airports appearing in Japan and Hong Kong. But the question remains, how long can we keep protecting Kansai International Airport against the waves? because the clock is ticking. According to one estimate, the airport's artificial islands could sink to sea level by 2067, which is 40 years from now, at which point the decision makers will have to decide whether the financial burden of raising the airport and seawall is worth the benefits. For now, this sinking airport is here to stay. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on how Canada's $5 billion bridge is reshaping North America's trade. Keep following Signum for more.